Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. Having aggressive cancer actually taught me how to ask for help. I wonder how many of you have a hard time asking for help. I wonder how many are like me, the person who does everything for everyone and likes it actually. I actually really like doing everything for everyone. I like being a caretaker, but I also know that when my cancer brought me to my knees, I had to ask for help. And boy, that was not easy. You can ask the people who were trying to help me. I was, you know, brave and I was a warrior and I could do it all until I couldn't. And then I had to learn to ask for help. And I have to tell you, I, you know, I've beaten stage four cancer. I've been cancer free, thank God, for over two decades. I don't easily ask for help, but at least I developed the muscle of how to ask for help. So today, what I want to do is start your cancer delegation list. Now, what do I mean by that cancer delegation list? A wise life coach, a friend, Ed Bulky. You can find him at edbulky.com. He's like a life coach to the powerful, powerful. So Ed and I have become friends and he is definitely a mentor and we really enjoy speaking with each other. And one day he said something to me that was very simple, but changed my life. And that was Saren should do what only Saren should do. Okay, well, a lot of us don't have a long list of people to delegate to. You might only have one. You might have a few. You might have none. But even if you don't have someone to delegate to, if you start thinking like this, it really helps you prioritize your day and your tasks. So by saying that over and over again, I started to make a list of the things that really I needed to do. Some of them were my strengths. Some of them aren't my strengths, but the things that really I should do. I want you to sit down and I want you to make a list of all the things that you have to do. Whether you have kids, you don't have kids, you have a partner or spouse, you don't have a partner or spouse, you work, you don't work. But I want you to make a list of all the things you have to do. Brainstorm it, just this big old list. And then I want you to put them into priority order. Then I want you to write your name next to anything on that list that only, and I mean only, you can do. You can't delegate it. You can't pay someone to do it. You can't beg someone to do it. The things that only you can do. This can be work-related, home-related, relationship-related, (laughs) neighbor-related. Just the things that you can do that you cannot delegate. And I want you to look at that list. And I want you to take a minute and see how does it feel when all the other things are not on your watch, not your job, not your responsibility. Now, I didn't say this was realistic. I want you just to see what it feels like to only see the things with your name 
that you should do. Now, we all know that unless we're a CEO, that's probably not 100% realistic. But the thought of it is super empowering because all of a sudden I started to see all the things that I really don't have to be responsible for or touch. And those could be done by my child, by my spouse, by an assistant, by a neighbor, by a family member, a volunteer. Again, I'm not projecting that every single person has at least one other person that can help. But what I'm saying is by doing this list, it actually helps you prioritize what you should really be focusing on. And it helps you let push away things that are not essential. Now, why is this critical when you're going through cancer treatment or you're having any kind of challenge that needs your focus and need your energy. I needed my energy. I was fighting stage four cancer with nothing working as a single mom for over two plus years. So talk about having to have energy stores. I had to be able to have energy because I was a parent and I was working and I was fighting for my life. So this really helps you in this phase of treatment, when you really have your back against the wall, it helps you really focus the energy that you need on healing and then only giving the energy that you have to give to the other parts of your day. I know it sounds like a lot, especially if you don't have people around you that can help pick up the slack, but it will give you extra space for healing. For those of you who have a deep support system, you can really start managing your life in a much freer way. And your friends and family will be happy because it will give them something to do for them to feel like they are really part of your healing and really contributing to you getting through this and getting better. For people who do not have a lot of family or friends around them for whatever reason, this is a really good opportunity to get into a support group or to look at volunteer programs like the American Cancer Society can help drive you to treatments. There's cancer care. There used to be a great organization, Why Me, who would give you a mentor who's gone through it so that you could learn a lot of strategies. There are so many cancer resources, especially for people who don't have a big support system So these organizations live and breathe to help you. There are wig organizations to help you get a wig. As I said, American Cancer Society will drive you. There are organizations that can help with small stipends so that you can get some uh, caregiving care or have some expenses paid. There are lots of cancer resources And I want you to go to the social worker where you are treating and ask for a list. You can also search online. Some of the major cancer organizations, if you have a wellness group like a Gilda's Club near you, these are all organizations that have lists of charities and some have volunteers who will help you through this treatment time in your life. And into your survivorship. So I really want you to start thinking strategically about how you're going to free yourself up more so that you can focus on healing and be able to either push away some of the things that are lower priority or build a little bit of a support system around you. There is something called Caring Bridge that you can sign up for. It is kind of like Facebook, but it can be made private and it has a lot of different tools so that you can help 
mobilize a support system around your treatment and get more help. And you can make your page private or public. I do know some people do make it public because they want more people coming upon their story. Some people do crowd raising, fundraising pages to actually raise a little money to get some hired support when they don't have a lot of personal support. Lots of different ideas. I'll do more on crowd fundraising and I'll do more on organizational support. The first part of this process is that we start thinking about what is it that only you can do? And those are the things that we need to get your energy expended for right away. Love to hear how the strategy goes for you. You can go to comedycures.org and let me know. And hopefully you'll start to free up more time for healing, more time for play, more time for joy. Have a blessed day and I'll see you tomorrow. It was so great connecting with you today. If you'd like to connect more, go to comedycures.org and check out the Beating Cancer Daily membership levels. It is so fun to meet up with all of you at our many different events. We have live virtual Q&A sessions with me. We have live Comedy Cures comedy events, live health builder workshops with Jackie, Brian, Aaron, and myself, a robust monthly newsletter, plus much more. So just go to comedycures.org and look for the membership level that feels right for you. And don't forget, you can also give one as a gift to your patient if you're a doctor, to a friend, to a family member. It really makes a very unique and personal gift. That's comedycures.org and sign up today. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. Guess what time it is? It's time for me to read the disclaimer. Beating Cancer Daily and the Membership Circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy. Thanks for listening.